Hello guys and welcome to another video, this is Jaguar's Moments and on this video we're gonna check how we can put a password or a pin code on our Xbox and protect our console from any intruders. Let's start! Alright, so we go to our settings, then to account and the first option that we see here we select sign in security and pin. First of all I have here selected the instant sign in option for my Xbox that make it just easier not to have to put a password all the time you open your Xbox to connect to your account. If you don't want to sign in automatically, press on that and then select stop using instant sign in and every time you open the Xbox you will need to sign in to your Xbox account. For more customized options and to change the no barriers option that we selected, let's go here where it says change my sign in and security preferences. Here the one I have selected is no barriers, but this allow anyone to use my account, change settings and even buy games from the store by using my card without any extra step. Not very smart to have this option enabled if you have kids or friends visiting your house that might use your console. The second option we have here is to set up a pin that Xbox will ask you every time you want to try to sign in, change the settings or buy something. This is a very good security measure to apply and you will need to put your pin code when you open your Xbox and you need to sign in when you change some settings and when you buy something in the Xbox store. The third option is the most strict that they have and is to lock down your Xbox and basically you'll need to sign into your Microsoft account anytime you want to change something on your Xbox. If you don't want other people to use your Xbox, of course this is the way to lock down your Xbox. And last option we have here is the custom where you can customize everything separately. First option here is to save your Microsoft account credentials. I have it saved but if you want maximum security don't save it but you'll have to put your email and password all the time you try to sign in to your account. Second option here is to put a pin at sign in. So if you want to enable that option click on that and press pin required. This will cancel the instant sign in that we had enabled before and we will need to add a pin. And with that option enabled, Xbox will ask you for the pin every time you open your Xbox and you need to sign in to your account. Third option here is to put a pin to change settings. So before you modify any setting, you'll be asked for the pin that you can activate right here. And of course it's using the same pin number that we put from the option before. So you just need to remember one pin. Fourth option and very important is to put a pin when making a purchase. So every time you try to buy something on the Xbox store, you'll be asked for your pin. Very important this one not to have someone buying games with your card without your permission. So let's put it pin required. And the last option here is to put a pin to launch Microsoft Edge, the internet at the end. If you need that option, you can enable it here. I believe to use a custom security setting is the ideal and I will personally use a pin code for changing setting and making a purchase. If you lock down your device, maybe it's too much and you'll get tired of putting your Microsoft account password all the time when you sign in or making some changes. But if you think it's necessary for your security, then of course, do it. For an extra security step, you can remove your card details from your Xbox and prevent any unwanted purchases. It's actually amazing how easy it is to buy games when you have all your details already saved there. So if you wanna remove it, check the video right here. And I'm gonna see you on the next one.